I'm Ann Gage, the Horse Riding Confidence Coach, and I help anxious horse riders get back in the saddle with confidence and joy. And I'm the author of the book, Confident Rider, Confident Horse, which is available on my website, confidenthorsemanship.com. So today's topic is learning how you can improve your horse riding with visualization. It's probably something that you're already using. and it's something that is used by professional and elite level athletes regularly to improve their game and by other people as well in uh, life and in business anybody with high um, results is probably is using visualization let's get right into it first of all what is visualization it's mental rehearsal anytime you're picturing yourself doing something if you're worrying about doing something, you're visualizing. And unfortunately, you're visualizing in a way that is not helpful to you. If you're visualizing a negative outcome, if you're vi visualizing yourself not succeeding or not doing well, that is visualization that is harmful. So how do you vis visualize correctly? When you're future thinking and seeing things go badly or seeing yourself not be successful or seeing a bad outcome that's visualization that's mental rehearsal and because your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what you're imagining it unfortunately believes what you're visualizing if it's a negative but you can turn that around and get visualization working for you in a very positive way so you get the success like the um, high-end athletes do by taking these three steps. Step number one is see yourself doing whatever this thing is in great detail as if you're watching a movie, making sure you're seeing the result you want to get. You see yourself doing it well. Bring all of your senses and positive emotions into what you're seeing. So whether that's a picture or if you can make a little movie, that's even better. You want to see yourself doing the thing, doing it well, and seeing what you would see, hearing what you would hear, feeling what you would feel. You could even bring senses like smell and taste into it and feeling the emotions. Seeing that movie as if you're watching it on a TV screen or a movie screen and bringing all of those details into it and you can make it bigger you can make it closer to you you can make it panoramic you can make the colors really bright you can turn the sounds up whatever works best for you then step number two is to now step into that movie put yourself in that picture or that movie so that you are actually doing the activity so if you're riding your horse, you're seeing what you would see if you were sitting on your horse's back. You're seeing his ears. You're seeing what you would see in the area that you would be riding. You're hearing the things. So it might be noticing the birds singing or seeing blue sky with big fluffy clouds, whether or not there's other people or horses around you. See it through your own eyes as if you are doing it. Step number three is to do that over and over. Replay that really positive movie over and over, at least once a day. You can do it when you've just woken up in the morning. If you have a morning routine, you could be sitting quietly and while you're in bed just before you're going to sleep because that's when you're very relaxed. And when you're very relaxed, your unconscious mind can take in that information. Your unconscious mind actually takes in information two ways. One, when you're very relaxed. So when you're daydreaming and in a little trance state or when you have a very strong emotion. So whether that's a really strong positive or negative emotion, that's when your unconscious mind takes in the information. So that's one of the reasons you really want to bring up the, the positive emotions that you will feel. Imagine how you will feel when you have done this thing. So whether that is jumping a certain height riding out hacking out on a trail going for a gallop on the beach getting the perfect canter transition you just want to really feel it both physically and emotionally feeling it i hope you found this information useful thanks for watching and i will see you on the next video